I am so mad. Like seriously, I am so mad. First of all, I asked them if they are flighted. He says yes, but they can't fly. Are they clipped? No, they're not clipped. They don't fly. They fly well. But they I, fly well? They fly real well. Be careful. They fly very well. CVPs, welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. As you can see, the sun is shining. I am sitting right now here with Sunshine, my little baby golden con here. And right here is little Star, my boy. He's chewing. He's chewing. I'm giving him really a lot of chew toys. Chewing is the best thing he can do right now. So here's the thing. I have these con ears already for four weeks now. Um, they are amazing. They are very attached to me already. Hi! <laughs> He's so cute. So this is the girl. She has a tail. This is the boy. He has no tail. Sunshine is the girl. Um, Star is the male. I am so mad. Like seriously, I am so mad. I can't believe that this beer eater told me that he um, says that this boy's tail has been lost because he was on the ground playing around. Oh my gosh, her tail is gone. Yeah, because they're baby, they're always on the bottom. Oh, so they'll so grow nice. back. Oh. They don't like to perch too much. Uh, they like to be on the bottom. First of all, I asked him if they are flighted. He says yes, but they can't fly. Are they clipped? No, they're not clipped. They don't fly. They fly well. But they I, fly well? They fly real well, be careful. They fly very well. They are totally clipped. Check this out. Check this out. You see that? They're totally clipped. The first four feathers is all clipped, all gone on each side, on each bird. So everybody lost four feathers um, on each side. So eight feathers total. So what happened is um, starting like the first week when I got him, he's been losing his good flight feathers. I'm so shocked. And when we notice it, my husband noticed it, that it doesn't have a shaft. As you can see, this is totally chewed up. This is not a feather that he lost molted naturally. Now, this is a tail feather that ne molted naturally. As you can see, there's still blood on there. This is from the girl. So this is Sunshine's. But now, here's the thing. He chewed up five of his good flight feathers. And that is really, really sad because we need them for flighting and he won't be able to fly. Also, the other thing what I was really, really sad about was that he, here, take this, chew on this, that he, the boy, Star, the girl is okay. She's totally normal. She has, she's not chewing. She has her tail, as you can see. It's just the boy. She's also calmer. She's so cuddly, very, very calm, very, very cute. She doesn't bite hard. He bites really hard and he has a lot of anxiety. He has a lot, he has a lot of anxiety and here's why. He was able to fly. Um, my husband told me that the breeder told him that he was always flying over to the breeder and he didn't like it, so he clipped them. Uh, specifically the boy, but they were both flying, probably because he couldn't handle flighted birds. So because he was flying and he was very needy, um, he clipped them. This is really sad and I am so sad for him because with clipping came this whole set of new behavioral problems now, like chewing his feathers. So my bird has officially feather destructive behavior. Also, like, because he was fully flighted before, like, he know how to fly. So now it's even worse for a bird who was fully flighted, who knew how to fly, to be crippled and disabled to be a non-flighted bird and needed help. Um, so what happened is he has now a lot of anxiety. He can't help himself. Um, when there is, like, um, danger, they just plummet down like a storm.
my birds are flighted and they, they are so afraid they, they hide in the corner plus all the blue hyacinths are really like big birds so this is really sad that they won't be able to fly with my flock for any time soon because they are golden conures and the next molt will be in 18 months 18 months you know how long that is that is september 2024 because they are now eight months old they were born um they were hatched on march 22nd this year so they are now eight months old in 10 more months from now september 2024 they will be able to fly and their wing feathers will grow in that's what you do to birds like if you clip them like it, it's just such a mess because it's not just people say oh it's just like a fingernails does it doesn't hurt yes maybe it doesn't hurt the the act itself but the psychological problems that surrounds clipping for those birds are massive like the first thing is like he plummet down because he can't fly and he can't protect himself he can't help himself and, and he has developed a lot of anxiety and that's when he can't help himself he starts chewing off his feathers so he has feather destructive behavior also called fdb and fdb is quite common in parrots especially like pet parrots that are captive and it's widely like um common to to accept it but it's not a problem you should accept this is a behavior that can be corrected because if you accept this behavior you accept the bat being normal this is a bad behavior and this isn't normal birds are meant to fly they need to fly for their sanity and it's their birthright to fly by clipping their wings you rob them from their birthright like these two the breeder basically robbed them from flight for the next 10 months which is really sad and with that came a whole new set of problems and issues for the bird itself if you want to tell me that these feathers that has been chewed up is normal it's not normal it's not normal so if a bird chews off their own feathers there's something is wrong. There is a huge problem psychologically in those birds. Feather destructive behavior is a self-afflictive destructive behavior that the bird does it to himself. And yeah, he, he does this himself, guys. You can see it. This didn't mold like naturally. You see that? It's all chewed up. Okay, as you can see, he has two missing feathers right here. Where the shaft is still totally inside his wings right here if you can see that which is not good and right here he just bit off another wing right here this is loose see right here this wing is loose right here he just bit himself off this this wing this wing feather right here see this is loose this is loose yep he's chewing it off say it again huh? what did you just say just say it again mm. because of the anxiety I said, that sounds like it's the anxiety of uh, he can't fly and he used to be yeah and that's not good no so i have to cut it can you hold it I'm gonna just cut it off. It's loose anyway. Right here. And that's a good one too. Oh, such a bummer. Yeah. Another lost feather. That sucks. Another lost. I don't know why he's losing all his feathers. Because of the anxiety, they can't fly. Poor guy so mean that's what happens when you clip the stupid clip birds you have you get these birds he already lost four wing feathers that he chewed off on on one side only fdb includes pulling the feathers it includes uh, if, if he pulls out his fingers with his beak from his, uh, anywhere out of his body but that is not self-mutilation um, self-mutilation is if he um, do harm to himself basically if he he 
put a wound inside his skin in his in his body in his flesh he's not doing that he's just plucking his feathers if a bird does that that's that's an extreme self-destructive behavior and there are triggers that initiate those behaviors this trigger specifically with star was because he was flighted the breeder clip him he lost his flight he lost his, his ability to help himself and to get out of people's way or to go wherever he wants to go they he robbed him from having a choice to make his own decisions basically and that was the trigger that trigger now fear and anxiety in star so that star is now picking his feathers so ftb can be divided into two categories medical versus non-medical causes medical causes are infections like bacteria infections fungal or viral infections parasites um metabolic disorders like liver disease um also thyroid dysfunctions tumors or metal poisoning these are all medical um, causes that cause birds to pluck their own feathers. Now, the non-medical causes are inappropriate diet, chronic stress or anxiety because of clip feathers or can't fly, um, increase, increased production of hormones. That's not his case because he's still a baby. He's only eight months old, so there's no hormones right now in him. Um, insufficient opportunity of learning boredom um or insufficient exercise now if some if 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 birds are clipped they can't really exercise because if a flighted parrot is flighted they exercise all the time they fly back and forth even in their house that is good exercise they're strengthening their breast muscles now clip parrots don't have exercise so not only you rob them from flight you rob them also from exercising and mental sanity mental hygiene that's what they need lack of forgering or discovery opportunities lack of access of fresh air and sunshine and also um if there is like toxic substance like smoking if if you have a household of smoking and you smoke a lot um that's secondhand smoking for the parent and that can cause also feather plucking disease because they are smoking with you without you guys knowing it so smoking i will never recommend smoking in front of your parent if you have to smoke just step out don't be lazy just go outside in front of your door and don't smoke and smoke in front of your pets so what do i do now with a parrot that has a feather destructive behavior um i have to um stop this behavior and i have to provide them a lot of enrichment and um things to play with like right now here this little cable that i'm giving him um it's old cable it's it's already broken and i let him chew this off he just chews the plastic off and that's really fun for them feather destructive behavior can be resolved you just need to have patience and you have to kind of be consistent like with him now, what I have to do is I have to take him everywhere we go. So basically, when I come into the parrot room, he is so excited he can't fly and he plummet down. Or I'm not there and he plummet down because I don't cage them. And they're out of the cage and he plummet down. If he's too long in a cage, he can also kind of like um, pluck his feathers. So I have to now take him all over the place with me, put him in my little pocket like a little kangaroo and just... Um, involve him in my life that is enrichment also what i'm doing now differently is um, these are all the solutions i'm giving them a lot of baths every day i'm giving them a fresh bowl of fresh water a big bowl of fresh water so that they can bath like today <laughs> they smell so good because i just gave them a bath and then they can air dry and have vitamin d the sun they need sunshine in their feathers that is a uh, good enrichment and play. I have to also make sure that they get distracted and so distracted and redirection. So every time like today, like I hear them cry and I went into the bird room and then boom, he was on the floor and I pick him up and I was like, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Star. And I pick him up immediately. He went into his his wings and wanted to pluck another feather out and I stop him and I just spend time with him. I kiss him, I cuddle him, I gave him a two toy 
and that help him to get distracted and not pluck his feather. He could have plucked today another feather. So right now he has lost already five good feathers, not the clip ones, the good ones. So I am really enforcing him to um, get distracted and to have a lot of opportunities to play, um, a lot of opportunities to bath. Hold on, did you just take out my diamond? Oh, guys, my diamond is gone. My wedding ring diamond. Is it on the floor? Did you just talk it out? Wait, no, 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 sunshine. <gasps> I'm trying to make a video and he just took out my, my diamond is empty. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, this was the video. I need to look for my diamond right now. Oh my gosh, I have no words. I'm so shocked. My diamond is gone. <laughs> if my husband finds out, my diamond is gone. The birds chew off my diamond. Where is it? Where is it? Is it on the floor? When did this happen? You didn't, you didn't, you didn't eat my diamond, did you? Did you? No, they just ate. If they just break and they chew it out, they won't eat diamonds. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.